Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I just want to show you my bullet journal, the beginning layout of it. I have been doing bullet journals for maybe two years now and honestly I don't know what I would do without my bullet journal. It just keeps me organized, it keeps me motivated and I like to be creative and I like to color so this gives me that opportunity as well. So the type of bullet journal that I have, I believe it's the um, Minko brand. I can't really read it. Um, I will link it in the description down below. I got it off of Amazon. Um, it was a pack of two for like $10, I think. Um, and then I don't use any fancy pens. I just use um, this basic black Papermate flare pen. And then I use the Crayola um, erasable colored pencils. Um, so on this first page, it, said, it just says 2019. I haven't really decided what I want to do with the empty space yet. I just left it blank for right now. Um, and then on this page is my New Year's resolutions and my goals. Now that might seem like the same thing, but really it's not. For my New Year's resolutions, um, I kind of left it broad. Um, I didn't really narrow it down at all. Um, but some of the things that I really want to work on this year is to love myself, be healthy, be happy, and be successful. So I like really made those big on this page um, so I can look at it all the time and remind myself that that's what I want to be this year. And then my goals is what I narrowed down um, to look at and then I'll just color it in as I um, as I complete my goals. And then on the next page, I have my yearly mood tracker. This page is gonna help me achieve that be happy goal that I have for my New Year's resolution. And then on this page, I have my monthly to-do list. So the task is up here, and then the circles is what I check off throughout the year as I get them done. Um, and then I've got my daily routine here. I don't really need to write it down. Um, I've got it pretty much memorized, but I just like to look back on this um, and see it every once in a while. And then like if I do forget to do something, then I can just look at this and be like, oh, I forgot to spray the shower this morning. And then this is the meal idea list. This is like a must have in my house. I have such a hard time trying to figure out what to do for supper because I hate to say it, my husband is quite picky and my son is getting picky too, but that might just be his age. And then this is my birthdays page. Um, it's not finished yet. I did add stickers. Um, just because it would take me forever to add in all the little details that I want in my bullet journal. So I did add some stickers. Um, and I also have a few months that still need some stickers too. So, um, and then this is my books page. So I'm a huge fan of like Nicholas Sparks. So I have his list of books here. And then if it has a movie, if I own it, if I read it, or if I've watched the movie. So... I do own all of his books. <laughs> um, I have not read all of them, but I that is one of my goals for this year is to read all of his books. And then Diane Chamberlain is my other favorite artist, and this is a list of her books, um, and I just check them off as I read them. I don't necessarily want to own her books, but um, I do want to read them. And then this year, as I read my books, um, I'm going to write them down here. And last year, I like rated them. Um, so I might do that again this year. And then on this page is books to own, um, but these are the books that I want to get for Lucas. Um, I've already checked some of them off. This is the page, the movies I want to see. Um, <laughs> the list is probably a lot longer, but that's just what I've put on here so far. And then the ones that are colored in are the ones that I've seen already. 
And then on this page is my Marvel Studios movies and then the new releases that are scheduled for this year. And then, of course, I added in my X-Men page or my X-Men section, um, which I'm super excited about this year. They're going to be doing a movie on Dark Phoenix. Um, so pretty happy about that. Um, and then my Disney list. I decided to do the Disney list this year because there's, as you can see, so many empty boxes that I need to, to watch. And this isn't even a full list. This is definitely not a full list of Disney movies. Um, and then my Pixar movies are down here. And then on this page, I am going to strive to play more games with my husband. So on this page, I'm just going to keep track of like who won. Um, it's not really a competition, but it's just fun. Um, and then we can see like the variety of games that we play and how much we play the games. Um, and then I've got my weight loss tracker. That is just part of my um, be healthy this year plan. And then this is to buy and to try. So the to buy is just things for the house. And then to try is different restaurants that we want to try because we always, always, always have such a hard time trying to figure out where to go. And we usually end up going to the same places. Um, so this is just in the area like where we want to go to try. Um, and then I've got Lucas activities on this page. I've got it um, art, fine motor, sensory, and gross motor. Um, this is another thing I have a hard time with just like in the spur of the moment I just have a tough time trying to figure out what we should do um, and I want to do one of these like something from each of these categories every single day and I've got my spring bucket list my summer bucket list I have nothing on them yet but I will be adding um, and then my fall bucket list and my winter bucket list and then this is my YouTube brainstorming page. So this is all the video ideas that I have. And then I have my product review videos over here that I want to do. And then it starts January. So that's all I have in my bullet journal. Um, so a couple of tips that I have as I was going through this. Um, don't overwhelm yourself with designs. I did, as you could see flipping through here, I overwhelmed myself with designs and it actually took so much longer than I wanted to to set up my bullet journal. So if you want designs, honestly, like make some stickers or buy some stickers. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and that kind of lets me know if you like these videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!